My practice is a very high volume surgical practice. We have a uh, major uh, eye hospital right here. I offer my patients amniotic membrane graft. The volume of surgery that I do, I do have the opportunity to try a lot of different technologies, different gra uh, types of grafts, different sizes, and I find that the BioD Optics graft is malleable, easy to manipulate on the field, easy to tuck in posteriorly, easy to contour and size right on the field. Interoperatively, it's a, it's a breeze. It's very easy to utilize. The key to excising any conjunctival growth, or pterygium rather, is to first mark off the peripheral aspect, assess whether or not you're going to start with your excision at the leading anterior head of the pterygium, which is the part that extends over the cornea, versus peripherally, which is the wing-shaped growth part, which is involving the conjunctival tissue. So it's really just a feel. What's interesting is sometimes I don't even know until I'm actually touching the tissue and, and actually feeling it to decide in, right at that moment what, do, what will give me the best result or rather the patient the best result. Once we remove the leading head, I want to do that in a manner that's not going to create any type of thinning down, we call it, an area of a defect adjacent to a raised area, which is a complication of pterygium surgery or removal of any growth that extends over the cornea. And then we want to then remove it posteriorly, addressing anterior tenons tissue is key as well to decrease your recurrence rate. So we address all that, tenons, and then the key during the surgery, mitomycin C, apply it posteriorly, then we um, irrigate and then apply the graft, um, tucking it in posteriorly and sizing it right on the field. Once the graft is placed, tucked in posteriorly and sized with respect to the anterior limbus, then we utilize a combination of thick and thin glue. It's a fibrin a thrombin combination, and then it, once it coagulates, congeals, then we just smooth it out typically, whether it's using a Jameson muscle hook or wax to remove excess glue. And that's what we utilize to secure the amniotic membrane. The beauty of the BioD Optics Graft is that it almost just adheres spontaneously, even without the need for placing the glue. And that's why it's fantastic. I find that the, the less pulling, touching, cutting, and every move, if it's done in a meticulous and meaningful manner, you're gonna decrease the likelihood of scarring postoperatively and you'll get a nice clean result. We do see our patients post-operative day one and then subsequently a week after, and then we monitor them for up to one month to make sure that pressures are, are normalized, especially if they're on a steroid drop, um, and make sure that they're healing optimally. Amniotic tissue, essentially, it's serving as a scaffold for the patient's own tissue to migrate and grow and fill in the defect, and that's why amniotic membrane is very beneficial. The patient comes first, and we want to get the optimal result, and that starts with preoperative consultation, and obviously the key is to do um, the best we can in the operating room, and that starts with uh, applying the best surgical techniques, being optimally trained, and obviously applying and utilizing the latest modalities and technologies.